Hello everyone, um, this is the start to um, my Let's Play series, hopefully hopefully I end up doing it for a while. Um, I've never actually done this before, but I've wanted to for a while, so finally giving it a shot, and we'll see how it goes. Um, this is a random seed, I kind of looked at some worlds before um, choosing this one, just because I wanted a somewhat decent spawn um, and I didn't want to I didn't want to have basically no resources and just kind of struggle to get started so um, this is a random seed but I did kind of check it first just flew around a little bit to make sure that it was somewhat decent so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get started here and hopefully try and find some resources and um, yeah, I will, uh, I'll update you guys shortly. Um, real quick though, before I cut, um, this is, I'm starting here in 1.16.2 pre-release 1. Um, 1 1.16 just came out maybe a couple weeks ago, uh, and I did a, I did a server with that version starting out, um, with some friends, and really it got me really back into minecraft so um yeah i thought i would try something new here and just see how a let's play would be so uh yeah like i said uh i'm gonna gather some resources here and i will catch up with you guys in a bit so one reason that i actually had picked this seed in particular uh, as I actually spawned right up there, and I took a peek down into this little cave system here. Looks like it probably goes on in several branches for a pretty long way. Uh, so it'll probably be a good, um, a good first kind of like crouch home, you know, to just stay in there first couple nights before I can find some sheep and actually get out on my own. Um, but there is, you know, there's some coal here, there's some iron, so it should be a pretty good start. So, um, like I was saying, uh, I figured this is a pretty good spawn just because right here we have a pretty big cave system. And, um, you know, there's a couple veins of iron just right here. So I figured I would go ahead and uh, get the irons here and some tools ready to go um, and we'll probably do just some caving here and I'll kind of explain what I want to do in this series because uh, I do have some kind of goals some objectives um, for one I want to kind of I want to try to farm pretty much everything that I can uh, I recently on the server I've been playing on I built an iron farm uh, you know, most of the crops built farms for them, and that really helped kind of propel us to to uh, new heights, I guess you could say, with um, with gameplay. Because I'm a pretty old Minecraft player. I've been playing since 1.2, and the game sort of gets a little boring after a while if you just do the same thing every time and you never really try to explore your boundaries a little bit. So. I want to try to do a lot more redstone because it's something that I've always kind of struggled with. I think it's really neat and interesting to automate things, but uh, I've never really done it myself very much. I do watch a lot of um, Ethos Lab, and he does pretty much more redstone than you could ever ask for um, in his single player world. He's got things like the Nexus and. Uh, the Googler and his his um, Hermitcraft series and just kind of crazy redstone storage devices like that. I don't I don't plan on getting that advanced, but um, I would like to not have to worry about you know finding uh, finding iron, finding stuff like that once I get to kind of the more later game um, later game. Maybe this cave system isn't as long as I thought it was. 
Oh, no, there's more over here. Okay. Yep, it looks like it's plenty big. Um, so, like I said, I want to try to build a lot of farms, and I want to try to do that pretty much in the first couple episodes here. I'm going to get established as quick as I can, uh, because, like I said, most people that play Minecraft have been playing it for seven, eight, ten years now, and um, it gets kind of boring when it's just the same, the same thing every time. So, I want to try to really advance quickly and really try to show kind of the more, um, he's going to get me, isn't he? I don't get out of there. Come on, kill yourself, die. Okay. There's more of them? Okay, well, we'll check that out once I get this iron smelted and uh, we'll go back down there. So, maybe we'll do that during the night, first night here. Um, where was I? So, like I said, I want to, I want, I've been saying that three times now. Um, I want to try to get things started going pretty quickly here. Uh, I'm going to head right down to diamond level as soon as I get some food. And we'll try to get diamonds here in this first episode. Hopefully I got lucky with the the seed here that we got something pretty decent. If not, um, it's kind of a bummer, but hopefully we can still, hopefully we still have diamonds by the end of this episode, this first episode here. And um, this is my first time ever really recording um, recording gameplay like this, so it's probably going to be a little a little awkward at first, um, but that's alright, I'll get better at it, um, and I'm not taking this too seriously, this is just kind of a fun thing that I've always wanted to try, and uh, I never have, so I guess if I don't like it, then you'll probably not see any more episodes, but um, if I do end up liking it, Hopefully I can. Um, hopefully I can I can end up getting you know a pretty decent let's play going and hopefully you guys enjoy it too because I mean I would like for other people to like what I'm uh, what I'm doing here. Um, it is just for fun, but it is also because I don't know I think. I think I could offer kind of a unique gameplay um, experience here that everybody's is different and hopefully mine will be something that's worth watching. Um, so yeah, let me get back to where I was talking about my goals for the series here. Um, so besides the farming, um, I also want to kind of set up some kind of a network system for getting around, probably with rails, but I may also do um, ice roads or something else similar like to that. But I basically just want to get some kind of a network system going, because um, I don't want to spend a lot of my time doing boring things. That's another reason I want the farms too, is that I don't want to spend time just grinding things if I don't have to. And if I can spend, you know, a couple minutes getting somewhere versus a half hour getting somewhere, um, that, may, that just makes for better gameplay. Makes for better footage, and I don't know, it just, it's more fun to me. It's better for you guys to watch. So, that is what I will aim for. Just gonna get some campfires here. That's, you know what? Let's let's make two of those. I'm gonna have to get some more wood here, but uh, I for sure want to have fun in this series. Um, this is, like I said, not gonna be taken super seriously, but this probably will be my main um, my main world here for a while. And I do play a decent amount of Minecraft. Um, probably a couple hours almost every day, sometimes I skip a day, but usually a couple hours every day, and um, I do have a single player world that I've had since I think 2014, 
Yeah, I started it back in 1.6, uh, the last kind of classic version of Minecraft before they they really changed it up with new biomes and new, um, you know, new biomes, new plants, new pretty much everything. And I feel like the game has been significantly different since then. Um, not to say it's a bad thing, but, uh, you know, sometimes I think they went a little bit overboard with all the changes, so I'm still trying to kind of get used to them, actually. Um, like this crafting thing here, this is really nice, actually, but I kind of, I kind of don't like it at the same time, because I feel like they could have done it a lot better. Um, it should have been more like an in-game wiki than like an unlockable crafting system because really i mean back in the day when i started playing you had to remember all of your recipes and there weren't that many compared to um, compared to now but there were still enough that it kind of you know a lot of people would install like um not enough items or too many items or some kind of an inventory uh recipe system like that i'm just gonna break this because i'm kind of tired of waiting for it so um yeah i'm not really happy with the some of the new changes but like i said it's kind of jesus can't hit any of these um it's good that they do make the changes still this game is still getting updated and it's like 11 years old now going on 12 so that's always um that's always great when a game is still getting supported Sorry about that, there's probably going to be some weird cuts just because I'm still getting used to um, recording myself and I don't have a ton of experience recording gameplay, so definitely going to be kind of a, kind of some getting used to before I'm super confident in it. So sorry about the weird cuts here that I'm sure I'm going to have. Um, get them get the zombies um and if this episode is a little rough especially uh, i'm sorry about that uh, let's get those guys turned down a bit sorry about that but um yeah i will probably be making lots of changes here in the near future let's see if we can get us a wolf i only have two bones so i doubt he's gonna Doubt he's going to go for it, but maybe I will get lucky here. Oh, man. Okay. Well, no surprise. I can always come back for those guys. I think there's three or four of them right there. So, um, yeah, I, I'm just going to do some caving here, and hopefully this will just go straight down to diamond level. I'm the kind of person who I don't mind just... Um, I don't mind just strip mining. I don't really find it boring like a lot of others do, but I know that it wouldn't be interesting footage, so I'm not going to record if I end up strip mining. Um, but since we're in a cave here, it's kind of interesting, I guess. Um, and I'm not going to explain too much of what I'm doing because I feel like most of the people watching, like I said before, If you have played Minecraft for really any amount of time, it's kind of self-explanatory. I'm not going to explain how the game works. Um, it's just a waste of time. And, yeah, so... Make us a stack of torches here. Um much got everything I need to go mining now. Hopefully let's try to get some diamonds here just in a couple minutes, at least for you guys. For me it's probably a bit longer, but um yeah but like I said this I think will probably be our first little like starter area here. Um I don't have a bed yet. I didn't see any sheep when I was up there. Um, and I'm obviously not gonna go night now but uh yeah so we're gonna just head down i don't really see any other ways down so we're just gonna start um staircasing down 
and I will catch up with you guys in a bit. So I thought of another thing that I do want to try to do in this series. Um, I've been reading a lot about, or not reading, but I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos about um, the concept of XP storage and uh, the way you can use like furnaces to smelt items and then you can store that XP in the furnaces until you need it. That's something I'd like to try, so I'll probably end up doing that fairly soon as well. Um, I don't think that'll require too many resources or anything, but we will see how that goes. Um, yeah, so I, I want to try to get an iron farm set up. That's probably going to be my first farm, even before like crops or anything, just because I hate mining for iron. I would rather just skip it, and since it's super easy now to get an iron farm going, all you need I think is like three villagers and then a zombie that will hold items, um, that way he won't despawn whenever you leave the area. Um, and you can also put armor on him so that he won't burn in the sun. Um, and, and that farm also gives you a fair amount of poppies which you can use to breed bees uh, which is something that I do want to get going here soon too uh, we're probably gonna have to find some plants biomes and that'll be after I get silk touch and all that so not super soon but um, yeah so I am gonna do a little bit of off-camera mining here. I'll let you know when we're down at diamond level and oh well looks like we actually are already so I guess I will let you know when we actually find our first diamonds and I will show that so be right back. So I haven't found any diamonds yet but I just remembered something that I wanted to uh, let you guys know too. Whenever I build farms in this series, I want to try to make it so that you can sort of use it as a tutorial, because um, it's going to be a learning experience for me, but I understand that a lot of people uh, would like, you know, Minecraft tutorials if they're just starting a world like I am. Um, they want to be able to watch somebody who can explain things and show exactly how to do something. Um, so not all the designs I'll show will be mine. In fact, most of them probably won't be mine. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not a redstone genius or anything, but I do have a couple of designs that I like to use for certain things. Um, and I'll, I'll definitely show that if I have the chance to. Uh, one of them is for like a zombie or skeleton XP farm. Um, and then I also... I have my own designs for kind of crop farms as well, um, but other than that, most of my designs are just kind of either copied or they're slightly tweaked versions of things by like Waddles, Ethos Lab. Um, yeah, those are the t those are the two main guys really that I um, I like their farm designs. Um, and I, wa I watch a lot of their videos, so you'll probably for sure see influence um, in things I build from them if you watch them as well. So um, something else, or a couple of other things actually. Um, if you'll notice the texture pack I'm using, it's kind of the old um, programmer art texture pack, but it's actually not just the stock programmer art pack. Um, it's actually a version of it that has been updated to 1.16 so it includes the new nether blocks in kind of like a an old school minecraft style um, I don't know I don't, I don't really like the new texture that Mojang added I think it was maybe 1.14 or 15 it's pretty recent now but um, I don't really care for it and I kind of think that the original textures that Minecraft had were just too iconic and they shouldn't have really been messed with. Um, and you know, maybe that's just me being kind of an old school player and having played the game for so long, just something I've gotten used to. But, you know, I mean, I don't think there's anything more iconic for Minecraft than a grass block. And when you go and you change that, I don't know, it's just kind of 
not really something I can approve, I guess. Um, so, and then also, uh, I forgot what I was going to say. Um, oh, I remembered. So, I also want to try to make these episodes probably about, um, probably about a half hour long each. I think that's kind of the sweet spot for episodes, for uh, Minecraft Let's Play episodes. Uh, you know, it's not too long, but it's also long enough that you kind of get to see some progress, and um, you definitely get to see enough to feel kind of, you definitely get enough to see kind of, um, I don't know, it's, it's enough to kind of satisfy you, I guess, for for watching YouTube, so. You know, this is it's kind of a bit tougher than I thought to record um, commentary while I'm playing here. Um, I do have experience recording myself, so it's not entirely new to me. Uh, I did some of that for some sound mixing classes in college, but... I, I mean, that was a lot different than actually playing a game while you're doing that. I was just kind of sitting there recording myself in a studio, um, you know, and I had a script to read, and it was a lot easier, so it was probably a, a lot less awkward than this will end up being. Um, but, you know, I mean, I'm not, I'm not taking it super seriously or anything. I'm not planning on being, like, the next main... Minecraft YouTuber or anything like that. I just thought it would be kind of fun to play Minecraft, but also record it and then be able to kind of look back on what I did um, throughout my world. Because I, I get kind of nostalgic for stuff like this, and I like to I like to take a look back. So, heard some lava. Sounds like it's over here. No, oh, maybe not. this way. I'm wearing headphones, so I kind of have a better uh, better idea of where things are, but apparently not enough to find this damn lava. Okay, well, let's try one more. Nope, okay. No big deal. Um, so let's talk, let's talk base here. What do I want my base to be like? So in my other single player world that I've been playing for like six, five or six years now, um, I have kind of a, a similar base to like what Etho does, um, where it's like a cave and it's got some like contraptions in it and everything is pretty much centralized right there, um, where I need it. I can really just walk a couple a couple blocks usually and just find what I'm looking for. Um, there's not really any like long distance travels to anything. Uh, and I have a really good set of biomes there where I have a swamp for the swamp specific flowers. I have um, I have an extreme hills biome so that my snowman farm actually produces snow. Um, you know, just things like that to where they all line up pretty close together inside of my my base so that I can just have everything centralized and yeah. So I hear some more lava up here. I think it's to the right. Uh, or maybe it's just straight ahead. Let's just dig straight ahead. I think it's off this way somewhere maybe. Really hoping we can find a lava pit. There it is. Okay. Okay, well, that's nice. <laughs> I don't usually do that. Um, 
not something that I I normally do but at least I didn't die so that was a really crappy lava pool what is wrong with my shift key That's better. And yes, you did see my controls correctly, and I think that the way I play Minecraft with the arrow keys is, uh, that's, that's, that's the actual correct way. Everyone else, they're just, they're doing it wrong. So, uh, I'm trying to keep some cobble here, because I do want to be able to build, build something when I get back up to the top. We're going to have to set up a little mini kind of smelting area here because I am out of iron. But I'll also make a stone pickaxe so we can keep mining and talking here. Um, so, yeah, I want to try to do a cave base again, um, but I want to do it a bit different this time. My single player world, it's all pretty much one level, but I want to do a lot of different layers to it. Um, I want to be able to kind of have some zigzagging paths that kind of cross over each other and um, I don't know, I just think that makes it a lot more interesting, makes things a lot more aesthetically pleasing. And it's also kind of a challenge to me because I don't usually um, I don't usually build like that. It's some something that I would like to build, build like, build more like that, but it's not really exactly something. Oh, and look what we found. So it's not really something that I'm um, entirely comfortable doing because I feel like whenever I build like that, it makes it makes it kind of an awkward, awkward looking kind of gross <laughs> terrain kind of. It just doesn't look very good, so it's going to be a challenge for myself to build like that, but hopefully it turns out pretty well, um, and you know, hopefully you guys like it, hopefully I also like it. Of course I'll like it because I'm going to be the one building it, I'll get to choose the blocks and all that, but hopefully you guys like it as well, because like I said, this is for fun, but I do, I do want people to enjoy watching it. Um, so, you know, I'll try to make it enjoyable. I'll try to make it something you guys like as well. But, um, so, is this really, is this really going to be three diamonds? It's going to be three, isn't it? Well, Guess that's better than it could be, but definitely not ideal. Um, okay, well, we have that now. I'm gonna go back and get the rest of the iron. I'm actually probably gonna mine a little bit more here, but I'm gonna go get the rest of the iron and I'll meet you guys back on the surface. So, actually, I'm not back at the surface yet. I actually found an abandoned mine shaft down here. Uh, that I kind of do want to check out before I end up heading back up there. Um, I've gotten a fair amount of resources already, a fair amount of um, ore, diamonds, you know, redstone, stuff like that. Um, but I do want to check out that mine shaft because I do want, um, I do want to find you know some interesting things, and I feel like mine shafts are one of those more interesting things that you can find. Um, I'm not going to mine that iron, I already have a stack. So, um, yeah, we're going to head up there just a second here. And if I miss some ore, that's fine. Um, my inventory is pretty full already. And unfortunately, I brought down all of my stuff that I didn't need to. Um, but actually, we're going to mark these coordinates really here, really quickly here. So 66, 17 negative 162. Um, let me get that lapis and then we'll go up. Oh, here's part of it, looks like. Yeah, so I actually found this because I heard, I heard wood burning. I found some lava and there was like some burning, so I was like, well, something wooden is down here. 
pretty much that something has to be a mine shaft. Don't think there is anything else that would burn like that. That would be down this deep. Um, I do want to come back for these tracks, for these uh, rails, because I want to make. Where's my brightness at? Turn up the brightness a little bit just because um, I know that it makes it better to see on videos. I usually like to play at about 50 anyway. Um, I think it it looks pretty much the best out of all the all the options you have there. Um, what do I not need? Get rid of that. Uh, I do want to get some string here. So I can make a bow and also a fishing rod, most likely. And if I can't find any, um, if I can't find any wool from sheep, I'm gonna have to build or I'm gonna have to make um, wool blocks from string here because I do want a bed. I hear the spiders? I don't know where they're at though. It's over here. Oh, I've already been there. Okay. Um, so yeah, hopefully we can find some chests in here. Make things a little more interesting. I don't think I'm going to keep the stack of cobble. I have enough, I think. Okay. Maybe we'll even find a dungeon down here. Find some enchanted books or something. Um... If it gets too dangerous, I'm just going to go back up because it's not worth dying. This is a cool area right here. It's not worth um, dying for pretty much no reason there. Do I have any coal at all? Here we go. Out of torches yet again. Common problem for me. Um, I can never have enough coal, I feel like. But I get this going here. Hopefully that'll be enough to get at least find one chest. It's over here. What do we have over here? Anything interesting? I'll definitely make sure to come back down here. This won't be my last time here. Um, but like I said, my inventory's full. And I don't want to leave behind things and then never, never come back. So, go ahead and mark those. Um, took a screenshot of those coordinates, and I'll come back. Is it really not going to be a chest here, like one of those minecart chests? Has to be somewhere, right? Are we really getting this unlucky? Kind of bummed if we don't find. If we don't find one soon, I'll just go back up because I'm not going to spend a ton of time looking for one. Waste a bunch of footage here, but um, oh, there's something over there. Anything worth looking at though? Probably not. Spiders down there. I'm gonna just avoid those. We do not need to deal with that right now. Um, and I do need to go back and get that furnace because we have a bunch of iron in there. That'll probably get bit by spiders. Yep, I knew it. I don't know where they're at, but don't need to know either because I don't need to deal with them. Never made my other pieces of iron either, did I? I'll have to do that once we find that furnace again. Alright, this is probably the last little bit that I'm gonna... something just break? No. I thought I heard my boots break or something, but I don't think they have that sound in here anymore. Alright. I guess we're just not finding... <laughs> we're just not gonna find a chest. Because I'm not going to spend any more time right now. Um, I want to get back up to the surface. 
get some get a small base set up just so we can have kind of like a little work shack I guess place to store things that way I can come back and um, I can get the rest of that stuff so I don't know how I don't know how I got down here at this point um, it's kind of annoying but I still want to find chests really bad I don't think I'm gonna find one okay not a big deal Interesting over there. No, not really. Do I have string? Nine string. You know what? Let's go ahead. Oops. Let's go ahead and get a little bit more in case I can't find any sheep. Nope. Not dealing with that skeleton right now. Not worth it. What is this? Have I been here before? Um. Don't think I want to be here anymore. Okay. Let's just get out of here. We're going to find our way back to that um, back to that area we came from. This is not the right area. Where did I come from? I came from over here. I know that. Is it over here? Yeah. I came in from here. I think I came up this mine shaft. We were in this room. Yeah, we came from down, down there, down that staircase. So let me just grab this gold. Gold actually has a use now, so I kind of do want to grab it. Before it was just kind of a cool block to have. Uh, I think I came from over here. Pretty sure. Maybe not. No, have I not been here? There's torches down here. This is... Yeah, that's where I came up. Okay. So, we should be getting back down. This is not where I came from. It had to have been level 11. <sighs> Jesus. Why am I always getting lost? It's because I don't put my torches on the wall. I know. <laughs> I put them on the ground. I've always done that. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and grab this iron, and I will be back in a second. So back, at the, back up at the top now. Uh, and of course it's night. <laughs> Took me a couple minutes to get back up here, so now of course it's night, but that's alright. Um, I think I want to try to... I don't think I'm going to start out in the cave, actually. I think I want to start out above ground. Um, and I want to I put our base right next to where we spawned, just so that if I do decide to put any farms here above ground, they will... They'll stay on because they'll be in the spawn chunks. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and set up a couple little... This is what I wanted. Set up a couple little chests here. And... Okay, that's nice. Just what I wanted. Oh, okay, I might actually die because I don't have any food. Shit, do I really not have any food? I'm really going to die. I'm actually gonna die. Okay. Okay. Cannot take any more damage. Where are those stupid campfires at that I didn't even. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, okay. Well, first death. But thankfully, I was right over there. So not too. Not too bad. Did lose 20 levels, though, which that sucks. You are not gonna kill me again, sir. I will kill you with a pickaxe if I have to. Are you serious? Of course, it had to be night when I came up. It just had to be. Nope. You will be dying right now, sir. <laughs> okay. Well, let's get those last two... Last two salmon on there. That's kind of a bummer that I had to die there, but... Oh, well. So it goes, I guess. Um, it's my first two deaths, I think. Um, so yeah, like I said, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get some, uh, some chests set up around here, somewhere. I don't think in this cave, because I do want to actually build in a cave eventually. But I want to start out above ground, just because it's easier. It's a better location to be. So, 
yeah, um, I think, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, you know what, let's just do it here. Why not? So here's the hole from the mining trip. We got only 12 diamonds, but that's not too bad. Uh, a bunch of redstone, a bunch of, well, not much coal, but a bunch of gold, a bunch of iron, and some cobblestone, a bunch of lapis. Um, I'm going to go ahead and call it here, uh, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. So, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.